Here's a situation. It is possible that your spreadsheet is returning lookup errors based on store number. What you need is a way to mark errors at the top of the sheet to keep you from having to visually scan the entire sheet to look for errors. So let's take a look at this example. Here I have store number which is hard coded or typed in. Then I have city, current sales, prior sales all being pulled over from a different source using a VLOOKUP formula. And then I have variance which is a formula based on the results of the VLOOKUP. Now this could be a very long list. It could be a thousand rows, it could be ten thousand rows, it could be longer. You could be doing this for whatever you need to do it for, but it's possible that every time you run it, whether you run it monthly, weekly, or daily, then when it updates, it returns an error because, in this particular example, the store number is no longer on the new source data. I have my source data listed over here. So if a store closes in this particular example, it's not going to be on this data that these formulas are pulling from, and it will give me a, v, or a VLOOKUP error is what it will return. Um, now I wouldn't want to try to su suppress that by using an if error formula to force it to be zero or force it to be blank. If there is an error, I want to know about it. The only thing is I don't want to have to visually scroll because that could be time consuming and my eyes get tired, I can miss one. So what I want to do is put a formula right there that's going to count errors for me so I don't have to look down. If it returns a zero, I know there are no errors. It's good. I can send this to the team. If it returns anything other than a zero, then I, can, I know there are some errors that I need to address before I send it out to the team. So, because I know I'm looking for a specific error, I'm going to use count if. It's going to count based on a criteria. So I highlight my entire range. I'm going to be looking just for the type of error that I would get in a VLOOKUP that couldn't find what I was asking it to look for, which is this. Three. So without me having to scroll down, I know there are three errors here. Now I'm going to scroll down now that I know that's there, and I can see 10, 14, 10, 15. Um, that, because I got that error, that means these are not here on this list. You know, they're missing right here. There's another one missing. 1024. 1024 is missing. That probably means these stores are closed. In either case, I could deal with that when I see it. I don't want to send this out to the team with errors because it makes it look like there's something wrong when it just could be that these stores are closed. Now with this formula here, I could just drag it over to this column, but I don't have to because it's going to give me the same result. I can drag it over to this one, but I don't have to because it's going to give me the same result. And I can drag it over to this last one, but I don't have to because it's going to give me the same result. However, I could be getting different errors. If I want to count all possible errors, this formula is not going to catch all possible errors. It's only going to catch this one. So if I think that it could be, there could be a possibility of different types of errors and I want to know about all of them, I'm going to use this formula, sum if is error. Highlight my range, comma 1, close these parentheses, control shift enter. 6. So in actuality, there's 6 errors in this column. I can come down here and count them. There's 1, 2, 3. This is a div error because San Diego is a new store. They weren't here last year. You can't divide by 0. Here's another one. That's 2. That's 3. This is reference because this VLOOKUP is out of the range. Um, so now there's six, 6 errors there. So if I'm interested in counting all errors, this is how I would do it. In this particular situation, I only want, want to know if a store is closed, and I know if a store has closed, I will get an NA error, so I'm just going to look for that specific error here. So, let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.